Hello, thank you for watching my channel today. My name is Sarah and my channel is called Your True Shelf. Um, today I am in a different location because I'm actually on holiday right now um, and I am also making pack lunches while I film this. Um, so we are in Devon um, for our summer holiday which is really nice. Um, I'm going to get the angle so that you can actually see that I'm making pack lunches because it just looks like I'm looking down all the time. But um, you are sitting on a breakfast bar <laughs> and um, I don't have a fancy camera, I just have my phone. Um, so I can't get the right angle, but never mind. Um, so yeah, so we've been here, today it's Wednesday. Um, we travelled down to Bristol on Sunday night. Monday was, yeah, we didn't really do much on Monday because um, we didn't get here for like four and we had to unpack. So we just went, um, we went to um, Willicombe Beach, which was beautiful. And we found a pizza truck there. So we had pizza for dinner on the beach and that sounds really nice. And it was really nice, but it was also a little bit stressful because um, we forgot any wipes and if you're a parent, you know that forgetting wipes and eating is a bad move. And um, eating with sand nearby is also a bit of a bad move. And um, one thing that um, <laughs> my husband, so I, <laughs> my daughter wanted to give a piece of um, pizza to a little bit of the like um, first of the pizza to a crow that was sitting nearby. So I said that was fine. And then when she chucked it for the crow, like about 50 million seagulls decided to descend and as they descended one of them pooped on my husband's pizza <laughs> which I found really funny he did not find so funny and you know those situations where you are really trying not to laugh because it's inappropriate to laugh but you can't help it it was like that I was trying so hard not to laugh which just made it like more impossible not to laugh and um didn't go down so well that I was laughing so hard but anyhow so that was kind of like fun but not fun um and then <clears throat> yesterday we had a really nice day we like went to um Tesco's just to get some food in um and then we went to god what was it called some Saunton Sands beach which was absolutely stunning so I'm gonna put in some footage now of Thornton Sands, you can see how gorgeous it was. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Well, that's your cheese baguette. Thank you for that. <laughs> silly boy, get out, silly. <laughs> um, and then today we're going to a castle and theme park to so give the kids something fun today. So, in terms of books, because obviously it wouldn't be a booktube vlog if it wasn't for talking about books. Um, <coughs> I'm just put my. Down. So this is what I'm reading at the minute. So this is um, Why Did You Lie by Ertha Sigurdar Daughter. Um, this is a Scandi, well no, not Scandi, Icelandic crime thriller. And um, I'm loving it. So I've got 55 pages left. And it's a 400 page book and it's really hard that I can't finish it right now because, you know, with a crime book where it's like building and building and building and then now it's all coming for the reveal. <clears throat> and um because we have little ones with us it's impossible to get like a big stretch of time to finish off and um also obviously we're going out and doing stuff as well i got a little bit of reading done on the beach um i'm really lucky that i can read in the car i know a lot of people can't read while they're traveling but i can um so i've 
been able to read a bit in the car but I've also been I've also been um map map you know not map reading because it's Google Maps but I've been directing as well so um so other thing I was just gonna say is what books did I bring with me? Uh, right, so I bought with me, this is beautiful, look. How to Love a Jamaican by Alexis, Alexia Arthur. So Alexia Arthur, no, this is for the um, Caribbean short stories prompt for the Reading Women Challenge. So yeah, this is um, Jamaican short stories. Um, I bought The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yoko Ogawa. Um, this is another one I ordered from the library. And then the last one, which I'm gonna have to read this not straight after the one I've just read because it's like also kind of, the one I've got now is like crime, but also a little bit of kind of menace and horror in it. So this one is I ordered because, um, so if you're a fan of Pastory Time and Sylvie X, Pat Bickmed, Heather, Sean and Bert, um, they read a lot of Grady Hendrix. They talk about Grady Hendrix a lot. And I was like, I was like, right, I have to try Grady Hendrix because they're some of my favourite booktubers and they love Grady Hendrix. So I ordered one from the library, which was Horror Store, which is um, the horror novel which is set in a store which is supposed to be like IKEA. And it's quite cool because it's got like those kind of chapters in as well. So that's another one that I brought with me. So yeah, so that's what I have to say for now. Um, I am going to finish making pack lunches and we're going to head out for the day. I'll try and take some footage. To a theme park. To a theme park. I'll try and take some footage while I'm there. No, you need to go on the rides with us. Not take any um, uh, thing with you. And um, I will speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs> so, um, today we went to the castle, we had a really nice time, everyone was well behaved. So that was all good and I've come home and I finished this book and um, which I spoke about this morning this turned out to be a three star um I thought it was going to be a four but it wasn't in the end so this is the first book I've read by this author um I don't normally read sorry if my camera's a bit wobbly I haven't got the tripod on um I don't normally read um crime thrillers but like I say this was for the reading women's challenge um so it's focused, it's got like three plot lines. One is of a foursome who are out on a tiny, tiny piece of rock in the middle of the sea on a um, lighthouse. We're doing some work there. Um, one is of a couple who've just done a house swap with um, a couple from America. And when they get back, something's not right with their house. And the third one is a policewoman whose husband has committed suicide although she doesn't believe he has committed suicide um so that's the sort of three plot lines and it takes place over about a week and we see how all those plot lines um you know come together at the end i was really invested in start off and it was quite scary but then it was too long i think it needed to be edited down more um it meandered quite a lot and then i guess the little bit of the reveal not all of it but it didn't seem like it was really worth the 400 pages to get to that reveal. So I was a bit disappointed really. So um, it felt like it took me quite a long time to read, even though it was probably actually only um, four days, five days. So anyway, so that's that one. So now I'm think, I don't think I'm going to go for one of my library books next. Like I said before, I've got The Housekeeper and the Professor and How to Love a Jamaican. I think I'm going to go for a Kindle book. So I just want something kind of light and um, brighter than that one because it was pretty dark. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to choose next and I'll speak to you tomorrow and let you know what I picked. So we are sitting on a gorgeous um, rocky sort of peninsula bit, having some lunch, got a vegan pasty, 
I'll show you my view in a minute. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have a place called Lynmouth, and there's a, like a cable car up to a top bit, and there's some lovely little shops and stuff. I'm wondering if there's a bookshop. I have to Google it. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll show you the view. It's absolutely stunning. Vegan cream tea. Yum yum. Yeah. My video. My hair is looking more and more crazy. Oh. Um. I haven't got any product on it. I just let it do its own thing, and it's looking quite wild. Anyway, um. I don't like doing this in public. So I feel like a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> I thought I'd tell you about what I'm reading. Um. I am reading on my Kindle Beach Food by Emily Henry, which is um, something just light and happy. Um, it's got really good reviews on Goodreads. It's basically um, a rom-com um, about two characters called um, January and Gus. So, excuse me. So January has just got the keys to a really lovely um, sort of lake house after her dad died but um she's found out that her dad actually was living a double life and as well as being married her mum he had like a mistress for a long time who he was with when he wasn't with them so she's got very mixed feelings about receiving this lake house and all the memories she had of her and her dad and then her next door neighbour is this guy called Gus and um she, they were at uni together but he doesn't seem to remember her at the moment and they're both writers so um January writes like um, women's contemporary fiction and he writes like more serious, I say more serious, that's sort of judgment isn't it, he writes sort of more literary fiction and um, uh, he sort of looks down on her genre and um, she is sort of defending it and saying well if I was a man writing this it would be considered literary and stuff. So that's what I've got to say for this kind of definitely a like hate to love going to happen I think. Um, but yeah, it's enjoyable. I read sort of 25% just really quickly. Um, I'm like, it's made me laugh out loud a couple of times. In my head, I always picture the characters and um, the girl in my head is definitely like Busy Phillips. I think she'd be a perfect January. Um, but anyway, so that's what I mean at the minute. I'm just sitting at this gorgeous park. I can see the sea. The kids are doing pitch and parts. I'm gonna do a bit more reading now. This is my view, isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful in Devon. Hi, I am on the beach. It is um, Friday. The week's gone so fast. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me properly because um, it's rather windy here, so you may just get loads of wind noise. Um, I just ran a 5k on the beach, which is really nice, first time I've ever run on the beach and um, it was really lovely. It's very windy, so it wasn't the fastest 5k, but um, I missed two runs this week because I've been away, so it's not, it was really nice to get a run in and, um, and to do it on such beautiful surroundings. The beach was pretty empty, um, so I just ran along the edge of the sea, listened to some music, it's really chill, really nice. Um, and now Sam's just taking the kids to the sea. So I'm going to read a bit more of my book. So I'm still reading um, Beach Read by Emily Henry. It's okay. It's like probably a three star at the moment. Um, I'm about halfway through. We're still sort of building the romance between the, um, the two lead characters, um, Gus and January. Um, not a huge amount to add really. There, she's teaching him how to write romance. He's teaching her how to write literary fiction, and there's clearly like a romance budding between them. But he doesn't date, so there's obviously going to be some issues. 
there'll probably be a fallout at some point because it usually is and then we'll see how it ends but um yeah it's fine it's good um but it's not like the most amazing book i've ever read but i didn't expect it to be either so i'm reading beach read on a beach so that's good um i will check in oh a little moth has just landed near me oh i'll tell you one cool thing actually it's just my me there was like a little vole that we found like when we got here on the beach sam said oh there's a mouse and i was like mm, it doesn't look like a mouse and it was like a short-tailed vole um and it was so cute it was like that big and it had a tiny little tail and um it was like running around the beach and i was getting i was a bit concerned that one someone was going to stand on it and two where it was going to get any food from because it was miles away from any grassland so and it sat, came and sat on my foot but i couldn't get my camera because then it would have run off it was so cute i could hardly even feel it on my foot because it was so small and light and then um yeah, so we, in the end, we picked it up and we moved over to some grassland because we thought, we may have, I hope we didn't do the wrong thing, but um, we thought that, because that's what they eat, so it was in the middle of a pile of rocks. And apparently it's really rare to see one because they're always in burrows. So my only concern was we may have moved it away from its burrow, but I can't see how it was going to burrow. Well, I don't know. We hoped we did the right thing anyway. We stopped it from getting squashed. Um... Yeah, look, my I look, a com look, my hair is a complete like lion's mane because I've been running in the wind. But who cares? <laughs> Had a nice time. That was beachy scene. <laughs> for dinner tonight. It is Sunday today and we've finished our last day in Devon, which is really sad. We've had such a lovely time. Today we went to um, a town where I found a water stone. So I have a couple of, well, three books that I bought today to show you. Um, and then I, we went to Croyd, which is a beach really nearby. And we had a lovely um, bowl of um, vegan chili again outside overlooking the beach for like our final dinner here so we had a really lovely time um but i'm mean, sad to leave we're just kind of packing so you can see like there's just bags it's a right mess behind me um just packing up so that i can load the car up so we can get away early tomorrow but i'll just quickly show you the books that i hauled today and then i'm going to sign off for this vlog um so the first book that i got was because we've started watching this series on netflix this week we've been it's been really cool because there's like a projector in the lounge so we've been able to watch it on like a massive screen which is really cool um and this is a uh, shadow and bone by lee bardugo i i heard so i watched jean and uh, menzies vlog this recently and i think she said that the they get better and this isn't as good as the others but i'm really enjoying the um the TV series. So it's basically based on the Netflix series. It's about this girl called Alina who grew up in an orphanage and her best friend Mal and they are in the army and where they live there's like a place which is west and east and there's this place called the fold in the middle which is really hard to cross because it's full of sort of like um alien type beasts um which attack and try and kill you um and it's kind of about so she is something called a, a sun bearer sun bearer is it sun bearer um 
something like that. Um, and she can, she's sort of basically got this ability that she was unaware of where she can destroy um, the bit in the middle, the really dark bit, um, to a sun summoner, that's it, so that she can unite east and west again. So um, it's fantasy YA. I'm really looking forward to that one. And then the next one is one that I saw on Emma's channel from Drink It On My Shelf and I really wanted to um, to get this so when I saw it today I bought it and it is um, The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arakawa. I'm not sure if it's in translation actually, I think it might be. Um, yeah, translated by Philip Gabriel. So this is, I think, told from the cat's point of view. Um, the cat is called Nana and um, he or she is taking a road trip with their owner and I keep hearing everyone saying it's really sad so I'm guessing maybe the cat dies I don't know and that always that's the only thing that scares me about animal books because I have two cats who I love to pieces and um I don't want it to die but I'm guessing something happens because it's sad but I think it's like a really a really lovely book so bewitching and comforting is what it says on the front a delight to read so um that's that one. And then the final one. So I have recently discovered Christiane Jones's channel. Um, who She's an Australian um, booktuber and I love her channel. And she, I watched her video this morning of the her top 13 or 14 fantasy books of all time. And I've only recently started getting into fantasy. Um, but the only, so I looked for several of the books in Waterstones today, but the only one that I found was this one. And this actually, this actually happens to be her number one on her list. Um, it's one that I'd really like to see the film of as well. We have an invader. Um, this happened to be um, this happened to be number one on her list. I'd like to see the film as well. And this is um, Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. Um, and this is a Studio Ghibli film. Um, so yeah, basically, now what did she say it was about? Okay, in the land of Ingery, where seven league boots and cloaks of invisibility really exist, Sophie Hatter attracts the unwelcome attention of the Witch of the Waste, who puts a curse on her. Determined to make the best of things, Sophie travels to the one place where she might get help, the Meven Castle, which hovers on the nearby hills. But the castle belongs to the dreaded wizard Howl, whose appetite, they say, is satisfied only by the hearts of young girls. So that's that one. So the book I'm still reading, um, Beach Read by Emily Henry, so I haven't hardly read much this holiday. I've tried to, but it's just like the, kid, the kids haven't been falling asleep until about like 10 o'clock at night. So it's been quite tricky. Um, but it's definitely not like an amazing book for me, the Beach Read. I'm like 80 something percent through now. Just want to finish it. I'll definitely finish it on the journey home tomorrow, but just, I really want to get stuck into um, another book, ideally even one of the books I just bought. Um, so yeah, so um, it's just a bit, how can I say, like, I find the characters keep kind of repeating the same stuff about their pasts and like, we're not really learning that much new stuff, we're not really moving forwards with any momentum really. Um, I don't know, it just seems a little bit meh. It's not more than a three star at the moment, definitely. Maybe even two and a half stars. Um, yeah, so I just want to get that finished so that I can move on to something else. But anyway, um, I'm going to sign off now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, it'll be really nice for me to watch it back, actually, and all the memories that I've filmed over this week. Um, and I'll be back for a normal video soon. Hope you have a good week. Bye!